So the definition of a lucid dream is a dream in which you are actively aware of the fact you're dreaming as you're dreaming. So it's not just a really vivid dream. Um, it's not a dream in which you see future events and those future events come to pass. And it's not the experience of your subjective sense of self being kind of ripped or dislocated from your body. That would probably be more an OB outer body experience. So a lucid dream by definition is a dream in which you go, ah, oh, wait, I'm dreaming. So you have that reflective awareness within the dream state. So from a scientific point of view, a lucid dream is actually a hybrid state of consciousness because the prefrontal cortex is activated at the same time as the more ancient dreaming parts of the brain. The prefrontal cortex is where self-awareness arises. So you can literally see the moment where someone becomes aware of self within the seemingly unconscious dream world. And when that happens, they're lucid. A kind of requisite for lucid dreaming is friendship with the unconscious mind. If you haven't got a good relationship with your unconscious mind, you're going to find it almost impossible to have lucid dreams. And if you are having lucid dreams, there'll be very little you can get up to. But if you can start to open up a, a kindness and a friendship between you and your dreaming mind, then once you get lucid, anything is possible. Control in lucid dreams, we need to be careful about that word. Um, one of the leading theorists on the subject, and a friend of mine, Robert Wagoner, says, just as a sailor does not control the sea, so does a lucid dreamer not control the dream. And I think that's important. We can have a lot of volitional influence over the dream. We can direct it seemingly at will, but we're never controlling it. But as far as volitional influence goes, yes. With certain lucid dreams, if you're fully lucid, a high level of lucidity, of, of conscious uh, volitional intent, then you can do pretty much whatever you like in the lucid dream. You know, from flying through the sky, walking through walls, making people appear, disappear. Um, it can seem like you're controlling the dream, but in fact, the unconscious is far too big to be controlled. And it's uh, a kind of an arrogant human folly to believe we're controlling it. We need to be friends with our unconscious when we're in there. So we don't want to control it. We want to become the choreographer. You know, the unconscious sets the music, gives us the dances. We write the dance routine.